Do 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 this is the Harmonic Dyn Athena. I put stickers on it. I really liked it. But they didn't sell very well, and in fact, they're not even in stock on Linsol anymore. So they sort of abandoned this. I think Harmonic Dyn considers this a failure, um, which is why they're doing their collab with me based on the Athena's chassis. So this is the Eris. This will be coming out some point after you've watched this video. We were discussing March, but that doesn't look likely, considering they haven't even gotten back to me with pictures. But we're not talking about my collab, which will be in like the $250 range. We're not talking about the Athena, which was in the $180 range. We're talking about the Black Hole, which is $100. Now, I also want to point out one other thing. Before this model, Harmonic Dine had never named something not after a god. Which is why I called mine the Eris, after the god from Konosuba. Because I wasn't going to do Aqua. All right? Just remember that. It's, it's not Eris from Mishoku Tensei, although that will also work. But it, it was, I was, Athena's a god. Zeus is a god. Uh, Poseidon's a god. I was like, all right. So then they call it the Black Hole, which isn't a god. And they... You know, we're just going to keep that. The, the anger I have towards batteries and the GoPro dying is just biblical. And we're going to use that anger. Because here's the thing. The black hole is cheap. And it's not the same driver as the Athena. And the Eris is not the same driver as the Athena or the black hole. And they all shared the same problem. You see, the design of the Athena, the original, is this semi-open, so glass back, and it had seven giant vent holes around the outside, and it's super unique, because I haven't seen a semi-open or semi-closed, however you want to balance this, in a while, so I gave it props for that. When I got the Eris to tune, the first thing I did was start closing some of those holes. In fact, you could see on the tuning Mark Seven model, the ones on top are closed, and these two in here and here are closed. Because that needed to be done for it to sound good. That was like the main adjustment. So we pick up the black hole, which no longer has glass. Now it's just a thin piece of metal. They've um, taken the, what was, and you can't see it on this, but you can see it on this. What was just a standard piece of glass. It's actually glass, and that's actually glass. Just a, like a dark purple. And they made it black with like this nice, like, uh, I don't know, what would you call that? topographical pattern on it or a tiger stripe however you want to define that so they've done that they've done this they're very light the pads haven't been they're definitely cheaper pads than on the athena and they're not the same as the pads on the eris which are not just are more than a color change so they've made them lighter and cheaper and here's the wire to the black hole is this a single strand um i actually don't hate it it, it falls nicely i like when wires fall nicely it's not too stiff but it's not the weaved you know crazy giant connected version that they had on the athena so they're cutting corners there the biggest problem is they've cut corners in the driver too much or they forgot to tune it and i know from going back and forth and the, co the collab isn't out yet. I still have to be kind of nice to Harmonic Dine. There's a, little, a, little, bleh, there's a bit of politics going on right now in this review, but I'm not going to try to hide them from you. Obviously, I have a collab coming out from a company. They sent me another headphone. They're like, hey, check out this headphone too. And I think what's going on is it took so long to tune the Eris, and they just had all these chassis. Actually, are they different? No, they're the same. Well, are they the same? Yeah, they're the same. Slightly different grill material. I actually went with a larger opening in the grills from the um, Athena. But they had these lying around for so long. They're like, we got to do something with them. I don't know. Throw something together. Make it real cheap. Let's get rid of these Athena chassis. So they put a driver in there. They did a nice job on the glass over there. So they turned this to metal. They kept this glass. I think it's real glass. We could check that by taking out a razor blade. I don't usually do this on camera because it's stupid. Did that scratch it? Mm. It scratched it, but it's like, ooh, unless it's metal. Maybe that's not glass at all. 
it's cold, so it might be a metal insert. Either way, they dressed it up. It looks really fucking good. Let me pull that wad off of there. It's still a numbered series. This is number serial number 11. But they didn't go as far as they could have gone. And the th first thing, while this was on the burning rig, I listened to it and it went, wow, this sounds cheap. That was There you go. There's, there's my initial assessment. If you get these, you take them out of the box, you put them on your head. They just have this... They have decent, like, low-end punch, but they don't, like, excite the soul. They sound flat and dead. They sound like they took a, an, a headphone, which I just listened to the Athena, by the way, today for the first time in, like, months. Because I didn't want to confuse my headphone collab with the Athena with a different driver. So I pull out the Athena, and I put it on there, and I pull the Shelly Labs, Arkle 3 Pro, all linked in the description, not this one in particular, because that's very mine. And I was listening to this, and then I swapped out, forget my collab, because that sounds different than every other headphone on the earth. Um, I pull out the Athena, I'm going back and forth, because this is this is the real what they did. They took this, they chopped half the cost out of it and put it there. And the Athena just sounds so much better, even without the mods. I'm sure I could actually make the Athena sound even better too, using this shit right here, all right? If you've never seen me use this stuff in a video, I am obsessed with blue and gray and white tack. In fact, the GoPro is held, the battery is held in with a, just a piece of it. And I have a, a, a gun reload, a magazine reloader there that has a slide and the slide falls out. So you take some gray tack, you split it apart, you stick it on there, it doesn't move. The amplifier in my car, I have a fucking SMSL amplifier mounted to a center console with gray tack or blue tack. I think it might be blue because you can't see it because underneath it. This shit is amazing. And it's like $3 for like five giant packages. So when I was tuning the Eris, what I did was I took some of this and I would figure out exactly how much I needed. It was twice as much as this, half as much as this. And I just started closing holes. So what I'm going to do now is for the first time in a couple days, because I brought it back to stock for this review, I just started, you know, closing some holes. Just like that, because they're nice and on the outside. Now you just got to be careful with that one in particular because it goes under the thing. But once you don't see any more of the grill, you've successfully closed a hole, a black hole. What you do is you roll it into a thing. And through this modification process, I've taken these from a meh to an acceptable. That's all I'm trying to get out of them. I'm not trying to make these like better than my collab because that's literally fucking impossible because the driver's just not as sophisticated but i'm just trying to get them so they, they lose that like there's a weird fucking sound there's this like i can't describe it it just sounds off you ever just listen to something and it's like this is off this is not something is wrong about this and i wish it didn't this that right there just closing this and you could use a piece of tape or you could open up the drivers with four screws and just put a piece of tape on the inside just doing that let's just have a listen again now because it's been it's been a hot minute since I've actually had a modified. Immediately better. Not the greatest headphone on earth, but better. The bass kick is still there. There's a little bit less hollowness to the sound. I haven't done a modification video in a hot minute. In fact, the second channel, Zio's second channel, where I put all my CES coverage, if I'm smart and have released it by now, you dumb ass, release the CES coverage. All four days are on the second channel, and I'm going to make a video on this main channel that describes how to use the second channel videos to find what you want. Because um, it's just, it's too much content. It's like seven hours. Um, on that channel, on the second channel, I actually have a two-hour video, another two-hour video, modifying the mark modifying the eris from the stock that was sent to me and i have a second part of that that's another hour long and i'm gonna make a third part to that explaining what the fucking nightmare i went through to get those to come to market and that'll be all available on the second channel Let's check out zero second channel but now these they just and the thing is i don't have two sets here when i had the eris and i was tuning those i had literally two entire sets so I could do modifications to one and then listen back to stock or I could do a different modification to this one and go back to this first modification so it was real easy to do testing 
I had you know uh, identical amplifiers sent up, set up all splitting out. I was just doing this for fucking seven hours. So with this, putting the tape on the top and going, okay, now listen to those same songs again. Paul Oakenfold. So here's what I'm saying. I I don't want to make this a 30 minute video. They're all 30 minute fucking videos, and I have a seven minute average watch time. Go watch yourself, Swordfish. I think it's one of John Travolta's best roles. Like, on to God, honest to God, not that anyone cares about John, John Travolta anymore. I think it's one of his best roles. Um, in fact, when AI becomes a thing and I can just type into my computer, or actually I'd probably be dictating to my computer using my AI assistant, I'm going to have him make a Swordfish 2, and it's not going to suck. I'm going to do it all with AI. We're going to have young John Travolta. Wolverine won't be in it because he doesn't need to be. He was done in the first one. It's going to be great. Holly Berry's tits will be out 55 times at specific intervals of the movie. Um, these are really, really comfy. They're pretty well built. Like, they have to be. They're based on the same chassis as that and on the much... So they had this chassis. It's the same sort of system that they have on, like, the Zeus, just a little bit different. You got the metal here. You got it slides. It doesn't do that thing where it bends off like it used to. You got plenty of padding up here. In fact, this is even softer than it was on, like, the Athena's which actually could mean it's probably using cheaper foam. They look good. They look nice. They look solid. They use a three and a half millimeter double entry, which we're going to actually pop this out. We're going to stop using the Gishelli Labs. because I want to I want to give this the beans. So we'll hook this up to what I've got currently going on. Now follow me on this is a Matrix DAC hooked into this X Duo TA66 which, if I turn... Well, you're not plugged into anything, are we? No. If I turn this up, which, by the way, tubes affect it a little bit. Not, like, in a way that's going to make it... Oh, my God, because it's only 28 ohms, but we're going to crank this up to, like, the last two notches. That is feeding into the topping LA90 Discrete. The LA90 Discrete is then feeding into the Gold Planar GF1200P adapter, which is then going into this $1,000 Fusion 1 effect audio IEM cable, which then has adapters heat shrinked on. So in case you're wondering what my fucking... That, everybody, is known as the source gear. Um, so now we've got a lot going on. I should probably hit play. would be a, be a good thing. Don't die. I think if you want to... All right. What I'm doing with the Eris and the tuning of that, that was a fun actual activity. That's why they're one of my favorite headphones. You'll get them. You'll get them. And I say one of mine, but I actually probably mean my. This is a perfect way to get into modding headphones. But just do what I did. Take them, get them, break them in, use them, understand what you don't like about them and see if you can fix it. They're not a perfect headphone. I'm not going to sit here and give them my full recommendation. Thumbs up. I just did the Fio JT5, JT1. Where the fuck are you? The Fios are around here somewhere. $69. One of the best. It's literally the new Ship 9500s. The I was hoping that this would come out and be that sort of thing. Because at $100, it ain't competing with something three times as much. But it would be nice to have a harmonic dime that's at the bottom, like super low tier pricing that can perform well above, and it just doesn't. It's a dis it's a kind of disappointment. But I think with a little more blue tack, a little more love, maybe doing something behind the driver, playing with the paper behind the driver, the pads come off nice and easy. You, you could take off this little circle here. See that? This is a little filter that keeps the treble down, which the treble does get a little bit much when you start turning it up. I know that I'm not giving it like... I'm not describing the sound other than saying it sounds cheap, but really that's just everything. Getting rid of the hollowness and from shooting off the back, because there's nothing behind this. I'm absolutely sure of that because I can see through the hole that there's no foam or anything back here. You have four screws, which they put two pieces of tape over it so they know if you've taken it apart. So you're going to have to commit to this. But this is the exact same thing I spent hours and hours and hours modifying for my Aris. Take out the four screws, only put back two as you're testing, because you don't need to put all four in to make a seal. Go into the back of it, do things that are non-destructive first, add a little piece of foam, add something back here. Be creative. 
right? You can put things in front of the driver. This is just a thin piece of mesh. Maybe getting rid of this would help. Maybe putting a slightly thin piece of foam in front of this would help. This is one of those headphones that needs help. And I'm sure if enough people got them and got together and said, how are you modifying it? Did you close? How many holes? How many of the seven holes did you close? Because on the Aris, it was three out of seven. So there's four holes remaining. A giggity. Something about your mom. So on this, it's going to have to be different. Maybe you swap the drivers out. Maybe this just becomes a thing that you go out and get TH900 drivers for $180 and throw them in this. And all of a sudden you've spent less than 300 bucks and you've got something fucking phenomenal. I wish they were better, but at the same time, I understand why they're not because Athena is better. I turn this up. I gotta stop pausing the music. That down, this up. I put these on with no modifications. And while I do hear some of that weirdness that I kind of... I didn't ignore it when I did the review. I, It was a semi-open. It was shooting the glass. I took it, sort of accepted it. But not of mine. When I did the Aris, I was like, I am not accepting anything but the craziest shit you've ever imagined. These are just softer and warmer and wider. Not as clear as you'd probably want them to be. That's just a driver limitation. But then these come on, and it's like... Why are you... Do better, Senator. Do better. Harmonitine hasn't made a stinker, I don't think. Was there any Harmonitine stinkers? I think the Athena probably... I, I put the, the anime stickers on to try to convince people that, hey, I really, really, really like these. Harmonitine understood. That's why the collab. But with the black hole, they just sort of appeared out of nowhere. And I just... They don't, they don't try hard enough. But for 100 bucks, you got a hell of a chassis. You got an okay wire. You got comfy pads, not as comfy, and they are still memory foam, by the way. They're just not the same, they're just not the same level. Like these actually get flared out on the top and these are very, very straight. Unless this is just manufacturing changes. Because it's still got the three holes in the center. It's still, maybe the material's slightly different. I don't know, it's hard to judge. I would love to give these a recommendation, but I can't. Not unless you are going to avidly sit down and start plugging holes and taking drivers out and actually exploring what's going on inside and changing the driver paper on the back, which is what I did for the Iris to make more base, which is take some of the paper off. They had like this little tiny punch hole in it. And I'm like, screw that. Bigger, 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 bigger until I had two holes, two massive holes, two massive black holes. They also ruined the naming convention thing. That's another thing. It's like it's not even named after a god unless a black hole is real and therefore smaller and cheaper than everything else. Who knows? So yeah, this is the black hole. I, I want it to be better. And I'm sure if I sat here for five hours tuning and tweaking, I could make it really good-ish. You can't overcome what a driver limitation is no matter how much tuning and love you put into it or pad swapping for that matter, which would be another thing, but it's kind of hard to swap pads when they're this comfortable. Because so what would you do? Oh, another thing that these pads do, how I know that they're different is because when you put on, they're, they're all the same. They feel like they should be the same, but they're not. When you put on this one, like move it around, it's fine. When you put on this one and move it around, it kind of sounds like you just sat on a leather couch in the summer. You know that sound, right? That squish, 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 squish. That's what these pads do when you move them. I don't know. So yeah, this is the black hole. There's your wallpaper available in the wallpaper hoard. Get every wallpaper you've ever seen ever in one convenient synced download. And then if you keep it running, you'll get them constantly as I change them. Um, I link to most things on the desk. This cute little kitty mouse pad. That's it. And that's that sells itself. I need something you people are going to click on and be like, you know what, Zeos? You're right. That headphone's a little bit overpriced for what it is. But that mouse pad, oh, it's so cute. So get that, get this. Patreon and subscribe so support this channel. I have 11 or 13 headphones to do, and I'm probably going to have a bunch of them on Patreon for a while because I'm not going to do 11 headphones in a row like released. So if you're looking for reviews that you haven't seen, $5 a month, see reviews early. Participate in yard sales from the 1st to the 10th. I'll probably be selling these. I might even modify them and then sell them just because. They're only 100 bucks, but it's like... If someone out there can get them for $69.99 and modify them and make them theirs and fucking do it.
Um, and then sound demos, loss of sound demos. So I th think I sound demo these already as my voice goes up really high. So those are the three benefits of $5. $10, you get to the behind the scenes private Telegram chat to ask me questions directly. Ask other audiophile losers who are in there. Jizzy losers, come on, throw it at us. We love questions. So yeah, you get in there with all, all the, uh, the Zeos $10 crazy bastards. And then once you're in that, you also get into a lifetime swap me channel to buy, sell, and trade gear. So that those people who you're talking to can be like, you know what? You don't need that. I'm selling this in the swap meet. Boom. And then they're sell upselling you on thousands of dollars in gear. Then you become addicted and then you look like this. So yeah, I'm done. You're done. We're done. Thank you for supporting this channel for the years and hopefully more years to come. And if you have any suggestions on what to change in the channel, I probably won't listen, but say so in the comments regardless. I actually might need to hire an editor because when I go to trips like CES and come back with seven hours of footage, I have no idea what to do with it. So if you are a video editor, you know how to reach me. Become a $10 patron and message me directly. Because really, I wouldn't check any other thing. Goodbye. 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 Good try, Harmonic Dine, but it's in...